I sh even with an injury time goal, I feel like it's I feel a little bit hard done by, but it's a point earned. What did you think of the game? Um, obviously disappointed. We we want to win every game at home, uh, but at the same time, I think it was evident the fight um, that was in the team. Um, you know, it's it's easy to go flat as a group, especially when you go two one down. But we didn't do that. We kept going. We kept plugging away. Um, unfortunately, got the equaliser. Uh, but we know there's there's a hell of a lot more to come from this group still. Um, so we need to stay positive. We need to keep growing on uh, on what we're doing well in games, but brush up on the on the basics that we're that we're not quite getting right at the moment. You mentioned the fight there and the character. What did you what did you think of your goal in the final stages? Was it happy for yourself and for the team? Yeah, yeah, obviously buzzing for the team I think as you can see from my celebration I sprinted straight back in because I wanted us to get a winner yeah. I'm not interested in a point that's for sure um, but yeah great you know I'm not bothered who scores myself or, or any of the forwards whatever I'm just, I just want us to improve and progress as a group um, and it might be an important point and a, and a turning point for us as a group to go you know we have the belief now to really kick on. What did you think of the manner of the goals conceded today they were two Three-ish headers. That must have been frustrating. Really. It, yeah, it was. It was. We'd identified in the week. The staff had covered with us that they were a direct side. They throw balls in your box. Um, we didn't deal with the first goal very well at all. Um, we've not won the first contact, and we've left the man free at the back post. So you're asking to be punished. And the second one's just a runner into the box that hasn't been tracked. So you know, we, we, we we've identified that as a group. We've got a very open and honest group who who take ownership of um, of, of not doing the basics right, and um, we all uh, pull each other through because we know we've got to be better now. And you mentioned their long balls into the box. Quickly, you identified that that would be a, a, a method to attack for yourselves. The long balls from Thomas Asante, he was a it, it was a method that was working for you. Was that something you'd worked on before? Yeah, yeah definitely. Obviously, with Northampton being a physical side, we we also picked a physical side today, as you as you can see with Corey playing left back and uh, you know having four or five lads over six foot. Um, but yeah, we, had, we wanted to mix it up. We did play a little bit, but you've also, when Tom Elliott's in your side, you have to you have to use that and, and get players playing off the front of him, which I thought we did well at times. Um, so yeah, more to come from the group. Um, we've got players coming back from injury as well, which will only make us stronger. Um, and, and hopefully we look look to build on uh, on that in Colchester next week. And it seems to be a, refer, a recurring theme that the performances don't necessarily equate to the points on the board. How, how are you hoping to progress going into the next few games? Keep at them performances, but do the basics right. Um, we, we have just said in there as a group uh, of players that performances don't just bring you the points. Um, you know, as you've seen, a side like Northampton today, you know, and this is absolutely no disservice to them, but they probably don't look to play anywhere near as much as we do. But look at the points they've got in the league because they're probably doing the basics right, they're turning the opposition um, and, and getting points from that. So, you know, we have our own method of playing, um, but we also have to be able to mix it up as a group and, and do what's necessary because at the end of the day, we all, we all want to progress in the league.